We've talked about how to set up your home space and how to structure your workout to help you dance at home really effectively. Today I want to show you some key exercises to strengthen your lower limb and to improve your ankle stability um, so that you can stay in really good condition for dance. Now the medical team at the Australian Ballet Company have some really good exercises that they use regularly with their dancers and some of what I'll be showing you today draws from that expertise and research. So the lower limb. Your calf muscle is the muscle at the back of your lower leg and that's the muscle that will swell up when you rise to demi point. It's got a really big role in quite literally keeping you on your toes and it also really helps with injury prevention. Keeping that muscle strong is really key in keeping dancers dancing uninjured. So I've got three exercises I want to show you today and they revolve around this calf muscle. The first exercise is facing the bar with your feet in parallel and we're literally just doing some rises to demi point and lower. Think two counts up, two counts down, so they're slow controlled rises and your alignment here is really important. So what we want is for you to have the centre of your ankle directly above your second toe and we want to keep those two um, points in alignment all the way up and all the way down. We also want to keep your toes long and flat and in contact with the floor all the way up and all the way down and you need to keep your knees straight the whole time as well. Now it's all about quality not quantity so if you're finding double leg rises challenging and tiring for your calf muscles then stick with double leg rises. If you're finding double leg rises easy, you can progress to some single leg rises. And if you're age 12 or above, or if you're dancing on point, your goal should be 20 slow single leg rises every day. And that's it. Exercise number two. We're going to find, get you to get some TheraBand, a moderate strength TheraBand, and wrap it around the inside of your ankle and over the top of your heel. Staying in parallel with the TheraBand perpendicular to the line of your foot, again you're going to go through your rises, nice slow up, nice slow down, and keeping that perfect ankle alignment that we talked about earlier, all the way up and all the way down. The TheraBand wants to pull you into a sickle position, so you have to really work the ankle stabilising muscles, your perineals, on the outside of your leg to counter that pull and to keep that ankle nice and neutral. Again, if you're finding this easy and you're finding it easy to control that alignment, you can progress to single leg, but that's for more your advanced dancers. 20 repetitions, either be it double leg or single leg is a good place to start for this as well. For your third and final exercise, you're going to step with both legs into the TheraBand and the, the TheraBand is spread around the outside of your ankle this time on the outermost foot. You're staying in parallel and it's exactly the same thing. We're doing a slow rise up and slowly lowering this time the TheraBand is pulling you into a fished foot and again you have to overcome that pull by activating the muscles this time on the inside of your ankle to maintain your neutral alignment. These exercises all put together will really improve your calf endurance and your ankle stability when dancing on demi point or point. So those are your three exercises for your lower leg and ankle stability. Try doing them once a day and maintaining that once a day really throughout your dancing career. Keep enjoying your dancing while you distance, we'll see you next time.